We're going to talk tonight about some of the keys to being successful in the math. Um, <clears throat> so just in a general sense, there are four different areas on the test, and they're about anywhere from 20 to 30 percent of each of these areas on the test, okay? There's algebra, there's geometry, there's number sense, basic operations, charts and graphs, Okay, so what we do is we actually eliminate algebra from our program of study. You know, there is algebra on the test, but what we, but what we do is we eliminate it from our program of study, okay? Now, I work one-on-one -on -one with certain individuals in this class on algebra, right? And if that's something you desire to do, we can always do that with any of you. But as far as a general program of study, we, we, we cut it out, right? Because to be successful on this part of the math te test, you need to get about 55 to 60% right. So if you don't get any of the algebra questions right, so maybe let's say out of 50, this is somewhere between 10 and 12, 10 and 13 questions on the test. Every single algebra problem on the test, you can get wrong and still pass the GED test. It's just a fact. Okay? Now, geometry, we cover about half of geometry with what we do with basic <coughs> shape measurement. We don't get into the angles, the supplementary or complementary angles as much, the degree of angles as much, but we cover everything else there. Uh, the Pythagorean theorem, the a squared plus b squared plus c squared, you know, some of that actually can fall under here. It's an algebraic concept there, geometric concept there. And then all the number sense stuff, all the charts and graphs stuff that we've talked about, um, the fractions, the percents, ratio and proportion, basic shape measurement. So conceptually, when you sit down at the test, right, and you have your big 50 questions, Right? You, you know from the get-go you can miss about 18 to 20 questions, maybe one or two more, and still pass the test, okay? So th this, 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 is a, this is a philosophical thing, right? This is, this is a sense of let's take the easiest stuff and get you really prepared there because those are the skills that are easiest to learn as opposed to trying to ramp you through all of these things, right? Because we have a short window of preparation. We don't have all year to do this, right? Most of you are gonna be here two months, three months max. And then you're just gonna, you're gonna go. Some of you are gonna stay a little bit longer, okay? But, but most of you are not. Look around. Remember all the old friends who were here with us in January? We're no longer here. Remember, I used to have to go next door and get cheers to bring them in here to seat everybody? Yeah, sure. We don't have to do that tonight, do we? <laughs> There's plenty of room for everybody tonight. And that's just the way these classes go. So it's really a philosophical thing. So, so what we're really talking about, we're looking at the easiest skills, the, the fractions, the percents, the basic shape measurement, the ratio and proportions stuff, a little bit of the geometry, a tad bit of the algebra, but really not any of it. And this is how we go about it. So when you sit down on the test, so what I'm talking about is that, <laughs> as, you're, bless you, as you're going through the test, bless you. And, if you, and if you come to an algebra problem, right, if you have no idea how to do it, well, you can just pick your favorite number between one and five, <laughs> mark it, and keep on cruising. Seriously, because you haven't prepared for it. But you have enough of this stuff here, right, to, Get the job done, okay?
So, so that's so that's philosophically what we're trying to do. That that that's why this that's why this works because most people have a short time frame. We're not trying to recreate your school experience. We're trying to <laughs> we're trying to get you ready for a test. How many math questions are on the GED test? Fifty. And you gotta get how many right? How many are on each 50. section 30. of the test? No, really. Like the the uh, English 30, 30. and all yeah, that 30. stuff. 30 out of 50? So, so on the writing, uh, language arts writing, there's 50 questions in an essay. Language arts reading, there's 40. Science, there's 50. Social studies, there's 50. Math, there's 50. Oh, it's... <laughs> 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 the orientation, she's like, it's a huge test, and it takes hours, like four hours, and you have to do it in two days. Yeah. I'm like, why is it taking so long? <laughs> no, so I figured true, math it? was like. <laughs> oh no, there's 50 questions and you're done. Two or three hours of that. 50 questions and you're done. Two hours in one day. Oh, yeah. No, I think it's about four hours. One day. Yeah. It sucks. Each day. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs>